kesi yako mheshimiwa rais na ni vizuri ni watabue pia tuko na mheshimiwa Rodepe wa kule Turkana ambaye alikuwa governor wetu wa UDA hapa tuko na mheshimiwa Mwaura Mudhongo wa Roiro tuko na mheshimiwa Kaveyavea wa kule Meru pale tigani ya tigani ya East tuko na mheshimiwa Wilson Sosion ambaye alikuwa nominated member of the national assembly hapa tuko na mheshimiwa Ngadha mheshimiwa Ngadha ni wa pale Tharakanithi alikuwa former uh, women rep tuko pia na mheshimiwa Mariro mheshimiwa Mariro alikuwa mbunge wa Laikipia West hapa tuko na mheshimiwa mwenyewe baba yao original mheshimiwa Waitito tuko na mheshimiwa Toro ako hapo na tutaendelea namna hiyo asanteni sana waheshimiwa thank you very much oh mheshimiwa Nyamai pole sana i think there is too much light there mheshimiwa Nyamai asante sana mheshimiwa rais ya kwanza ni kukukaribisha hapa Muranga na nikwambia asante sana sisi kama watu wa Muranga tunajisikia vizuri ukiwa hapa ukifanya Thanksgiving service pamoja na sisi na pia nataka nichukue nafasi hii mheshimiwa rais ni kueleza ya kwamba ile the, the sermon we had today from the reverend Jesse inaabatana na ile maneno yote umetufunza and in that mentorship mheshimiwa rais even in the recent nominations za UDA katika uh, assembly ya Muranga tulifanya tu vile umetueleza and i'm saying this because our clergy uh, wako hapa miogoni ya wale tumechagua kama viongozi wa Muranga kijumla wasimamie watu wa Muranga kama nominated members of the county assembly Mheshimiwa Rais we chose one a reverend with a collar called Reverend Esther na anahudumu sasa kama MCA katika Muranga County Assembly. <laughs> Pia na nafanya hii kama kubukubu ndio uone Mheshimiwa Rais we learn when we are with you. Miogoni yetu hapa tuko na many nominated members of the County Assembly. But I want to seek one out. There is a young man called Marufu Marufu must be somewhere. Marufu kuja usalimie rais tafadhali. Nilikuwa nimeomba ruhusa. Because I want to demonstrate that we actually learn from you Mheshimiwa Rais. This guy when you came to Muranga last, he was one of the Boda Boda riders who escorted you. Salimia Mheshimiwa Rais. And he is now a member of the County Assembly of Muranga. Mheshimiwa Rais nimefanya hayo ndio pia hawa ambao tunashiriki nao waone tukisema ni bottom map hatusemi kwa mdomo peke yake tunafanya pia kwa vitendo Mheshimiwa Rais najua Mheshimiwa wa maua na tulikuwa tumekubaliana kama viongozi wote that we try to avoid maneno mingi ambayo tumeogea na wewe because you are a very accessible asante sana asante you are a very accessible leader and we access you all the time lakini kwa, kwa niamba ya hawa watu wa Muranga ambao wanatazama ni vizuri wajue ya kwamba wakati wanatuona na wewe kama rais tunawalete yanga ile matakwa yao ambao wako nayo hapa mtinani na mingi ambayo wametutuma and i am thanking you because i know umepaga hiyo maneno yote najua kuna miradi mingi ya maji hapa Muranga na wewe unayajua yote na najua uko na mpango ya kumaliza ambayo ile yote haijamalizika in all the constituencies we also know there are many roads that are ongoing zinaendelea kujengwa na najua mheshimiwa rais most of these roads you know them by name that is why i'm not belaboring the point but i want to assure the people of muranga that the leadership of muranga we access our president as and when we want and kwa hiyo anajua barabara zetu ambazo zimekwama na najua ako na mpango ya kufanya hiyo barabara zote zimalizike najua pia kuna tivets ama uh, uh, colleges ambazo tunajenga pa constituencies 
the ones that are ongoing, I know you know, you know them by name, na najua pia utamaliza. Na ya mwisho kwa hiyo maneno mweshimua rais. Hawa watu wa muranga na najua pia hiyo unaelewa. Kuna hii highway ya Keno Marwa. Marwa yuko nyeri, inapita mpaka pale sagana. Hi, pia hii na kushukuru kwa sababu, the things that I'm telling you about muranga, you know them, na najua umeziadika pahali, na najua uko na mpango. Lakini hawa wananchi wa muranga, walikuwa wanaomba ni sawa tumejenga ile upande pia hiyo ni sawa kwa sababu pia muranga iko hapo na Kirinyaga lakini pia tunaomba mheshimiwa rais kutoka hapa Keno kwenda tukienda Sabasaba kwenda Muranga town na kwenda mpaka Sagana najua unajua hiyo barabara ya kwamba hawa wakaaji wa Muranga wageomba pia ifanywe dueling so that even our towns of Sabasaba of Maragua going to Muranga pia hizo zisiwachwe nyuma sana but i'm just saying this for the sake of uh, the great population we serve because i know you are abreast of all those issues nikienda kumaliza mheshimiwa rais on friday i had an occasion of visiting one of our coffee factories at a place called Kaga in Keharu. And there is a very successful coffee factory called Gatagwa. Waliita hiyo kwa sababu kwa kikui nasema ire hayanguki. Kwa sababu many factories zimeanguka. Na nakushukuru sana mwesimua rais. Kwa hile mipango wabayo hiko, umepeana fertilizer kwa hawa wakurima wetu. And I want to tell you mwesimua rais, ukitazama kama hile kahawa turikuwa nayo na tukaeda shure nayo. Kama hiyo factory nitebelea ijuma, wameweza kulipa wakulima 115 shillings per kilogram ya kofi. Na nikaenda hapo nikaona mitambo wanafanya, na najua pia uko na mikakati ya kusaidia these factories. But my point was on the fertilizer. Mwesimua rais, fertilizer is an input kwa hii maneno tunafanya ya agriculture. Just like pesticides and all the others. And I want to congratulate you for taking the lead in incentivizing our inputs by lowering the cost of fertilizer, lowering the cost of our inputs. Because agriculture, farming, just like industrialization or manufacturing, is an area of multiplier effect. When we incentivize inputs, we are investing in these farmers. Lakini kuna kitu moja tu ni geoba kwa niyaba ya hawa farmers wote. Wege katika muranga, tunaenda E, fertilizer pale, kwa, e, pale sagana na igine tukonayo hapa maragwa hawa wakulima wanaomba na najua naongea kwa niyamba ya wakulima wote wa Kenya majority of them wame defacilitate na wako katika factories ama e, farmers societies wanaomba wao watakoboa rori waadike majina ya wakulima abawa wanataka fertilizer waede katika depo ya NCPB na hawata uliza shirigi hata moja Wajibebe hiyo fertilizer waede watukue katika factory zao. Nimeona ni kuuliza hiyo kwa sababu I know it's cutting across many areas of Kenya na pia itasaidia hawa mahasela. Wakiendea fertilizer let's say have, uh, have a bag. Asiedee bali sana, aedee kalibu na factory. Very lastly, I want to thank you, your excellency and our deputy president. The recently concluded elections have defined Kenya in all its dimensions. Our country called Kenya has changed because of these elections. One, in regards to the state of Kenya. The state of Kenya as a modern state has changed in terms of institutions. Our institutions have come of age, like IABC demonstrated. Also in regards to the rule of law, as it was demonstrated by our Supreme Court. And of course, our democracy, our accountability through our democracy. Also, our country was refined as far as the nation is concerned because we abandoned our cocoons of tribalism and we held hearts as one nation called Kenya. And lastly, as a republic, that now the Republic of Kenya, the normal raya wako na uwezo wakujitaguria rais kama vile tulifanya. Pole sana kwa kupita wakati, asante sana rais, sasa nigetaka niyurize our governor, mweshimiwa, Ajitayarishe, nikieta our majority leader of the National Assembly, asimamia sisi wote, 
kwa kupeana rotuba yake. Karibu sana Mheshimiwa Kimani Shongwa.